Chef here once again with all things Butcher Block. I love Butcher Block. Yeah, this is end grain maple. You can see it's ready for some more oil. This is edge grain cherry. It's been oiled once and then it's been sealed at the factory. Uh, it's really, really nice. I like it. And uh, this one here, this is edge grain maple. So different looks and different uh, sizes, different thicknesses. Edge grain has certain applications, end grain has certain applications. They're all on sale at your sponsor right there. In stock and quick shipping, you're going to love it. By the way, this is an authorized dealer with over 50 years of combined experience in butcher block. So I suggest you uh, shop with the experts. Get the best the first time. That's my motto. Get the best the first time. This is made in America. You can't go wrong. So follow along and here we go. Okay, this old block's coming along good. It's fine sanded. I like where it's at right now. I'm ready to apply mystery oil. Give it a shake. A little bit of uh, beeswax and uh, mineral oil, some other good stuff in here. I like it. Uh, first application, just like this. Swirl motion. Yeah. Okay, once you got the swirl motion down, plastic bag. Why? Because it's recyclable and it's not flammable. Uh, I would not use uh, cloth. It'll absorb too much and it becomes flammable. Oh, look at that block. Really, really nice. You can see all the hard work has paid off just with the look and the color. Oh, yeah. If you need one of these blocks, contact your sponsor. If you need the butcher block treatment, check out the sponsor. And yeah, it's looking really, really good. It's going to soak in and penetrate, so I'm not worried about a little extra oil. That's fine. When I'm applying the oil, I do apply a little more in the areas that have more cut marks, more deep scratches and things like that. I'm going to give you a little walk around this block right now to show you how nice it is. And I will finish up. Uh, over the next few days with several applications. Here we go, just a quick walk around this block as it's finished up. This again is a 48 by 25 by 4. Uh, this particular one has a uh, oak frame installed around it. It was done a long time ago. Just want to show you the finished block after a lot of work it's looking really really good yeah we gotta let that oil penetrate let it soak in if you need a block or butcher block treatment another butcher block video butcher blocks one of my favorite surfaces to cut on I love it how do you know when a block is ready to be oiled it's simple this one was just oiled, it's beautiful, it's moist, it's wet, it's fresh looking. This one, right here, is about uh, 10 years old and it's dry. I'll show you uh, comparatively the difference of them here. So this one's kind of dried out, the surface is crying, oil me please, oil me please. And this one's fresh and ready to go. So that's the difference. You can see it right there. I highly recommend you get the uh, mystery oil and or the board cream. You just apply it like this, little circular motion. Yeah. I prefer to use a plastic bag. I'm just going to put it on like this. Oh, yeah. It's looking good already. And this block has given me years and years of cutting chopping pleasure. Uh, primarily this one's used for serving fruits and cheese. You can see it sucking up the oil. Yeah, the oil protects it, it penetrates into the wood and it makes it last for many many more years. Looking really good now, yeah. The other side, same deal. It's crying for some oil. Oh, let's give it the oil. There we go. 
Okay, the oil is on there. Circular motion, let it penetrate. Doesn't take very long, a little effort, but this maintenance is very, very important. So if you need to uh, score the oil, if you need to order the butcher block, I highly recommend you visit your sponsor. Uh, they have about 50 years of combined experience in butcher block, and wow, it's the good stuff. Extra virgin olive oil with a black truffle. Three tablespoons. That like button, subscribe, share. Oh, yeah. That's going to be good. Aha, another herb. Can you guess what this one is? Okay, this one is fresh thyme. Yeah, looking really good. Thyme. Excellent when paired with lamb, chicken, fish, steaks, all kinds of things. Thyme is wonderful. Okay, I'm in the kitchen. I've got this fresh basil. It's looking really, really nice there. I've got a razor sharp knife. You're wondering just how sharp this is, right? Yeah. Always good to start with a very sharp knife. in one of the kitchens with one of these cutting boards and almost every week or bi-weekly people ask me chef how do you clean that cutting board so that's what I'm gonna touch on here right now so this is a rock maple board it's reversible uh, it's 20 by 15 by two and a quarter and uh, it's one of these really good quality here I like it this one's been used for a long, long time, maybe more than six or seven years, I think. So as it gets dirty, we're using the bench scraper to scrape it off, just like this. Any residue that's left, you can just put on a paper towel and you can see it right there. Okay, towel dry it, that's good. All right. by looking at this the board's getting a little bit dry it's ready for an application of mystery oil there's another product a little thicker that has a little more beeswax that's the board cream good stuff shake it up I've got more tricks watch some of the other videos more tricks with this too we shake it up we put it on in a swirling motion like this okay and we use a a uh, plastic bag because it can be recycled and I don't want any fire hazard or anything around floating around any used product plastic bag recycle 
circular motion like this. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm almost done. All right. So that's it. This surface has been treated. You can do the sides if you'd like. And you're ready to continue your work or your prep or your cooking on this side. Oil this side about a week later or even the next day. Oh, this end grain surface is very similar. Same thing. Bench scraper. Give it a little scrape. Remove any food particles or dirt that might be on there. Oh, yeah. Look at all that. Some of this is spices, by the way. Okay? This is good to go. Yeah. And now we repeat with a little bit of this magical mystery oil. Just a little bit like this. Plastic bag recyclable. Swirling motion. There, oh yeah, looking good. That surface is treated and it's ready to go. I would repeat this at least monthly. Thanks for watching. Subscribe right there. Smash that little like button so other people find the videos. Get cooking and have a beautiful day. Oh yeah, it's looking really, really good. Check out the huge selection at your sponsor. Edge grain, end grain, maple, cherry, walnut, big blocks, small blocks, countertops, island tops, cutting boards, and many, many other wood products and applications. Thanks for watching. With this glove on, you have full protection, no cuts, no issues. I like it, it works, and uh, wow, it protects. That's what it's all about, safety. Yeah, made in America, made in USA, only at your sponsor right there. Yeah, check it out, get cooking. Have a great day. Oh, yeah. It's going to be good. Check it out. They do custom sizes. 
They do edge grain, end grain, maple, walnut, cherry, islands, counters, tables, cutting boards, chopping blocks, and these babies last for a long, long time. This one here is at least 20 years, 20 years used. You can see just how nice it is. The patina, the quality, wow, I like it. And it's a pleasure to chop on. Yeah. Visit your sponsors. So you're in the market for maple countertops. Why not go with the best the first time? Select solid rock maple, full rails or blended North American hard rock maple is ideal for a countertop surface, islands, tables, backsplashes. Buy the best the first time and choose food safe varnique finish or natural mineral oil Check it out at your sponsor. Wow. Check out the sponsor, All Things Butcher Block, as seen on TV and used by chefs and food service professionals around the world. Check it out at the sponsor. They're having a free shipping sale, and uh, wow, it's the best. <laughs>